can you believe it, guys? Another Minecraft snapshot has come out, and with another snapshot means more blocks and more ways to build. Hello, my name is Zaras, and welcome back to another Minecraft building video. And today, we're going to be building with the bees. Not actually with the bees, but we're going to be building with the bee blocks. Or the blocks in the new Minecraft snapshot. So let's take a look at the blocks first. The honey block, honeycomb block, bee nest, and beehive. So a really interesting property of the honey block is when you slide down it, or when you put your body, your Minecraft body on it, you can slide, you won't fall directly down. Just I thought you would be interested in a little fact about the honey block. Anyway, let's get on to the actual building techniques. First is this one using the honeycomb block. This is like a light or a lantern, something you would find in a city. It's really simple, just with a smooth stone slab as the base here, some fence posts up, trap doors and the honeycomb block, and of course on top a slab. So let's move straight on to the next one. This is using the honey block. This you might find in a lab kind of area or somewhere where you would find chemicals being used. You can imagine that this honey is, you can imagine it's either real honey or it's some kind of chemical, which is get, getting put into this tube and then put out over here. So this is just using iron blocks, glass, and of course the honey block. So moving on. And this is just a demo room, of course, this is not actually real styling, but the block used here is the beehive. So you use the top of the beehive here to make it look like a kind of um, new, very clean kind of wood floor. And unlike the real oak planks, let me just find them here. These only have two, and this is this is much cleaner than this dirty, than this slightly more um, darker texture. So we'll move straight on to the most obvious use of the beehive, which is just boxes, cardboard boxes. So you can like take off the lid here, and there uh, are like metal clips to keep them together, and so forth. So next we'll be moving on to this peculiar one. This is using the bee nest. Oh, it's raining. Um, let me just quickly fix that. Weather clear. So anyway, as I was saying, this one's using the bee nest. Now the bee nest is... Yeah, it's a pretty ugly block, I gotta say. It doesn't look that good. So, I decided to use its less ugly sides. This... So this side, of course, and this side, and use the back of it as a kind of wall or wallpaper. Now it's very, you know, pop or very, it's, it, when you enter a room, you're really going to turn around to see it right there. But this is the kind of thing someone might want inside the house. Next, another one with the honeycomb block. I'm not really sure what this is. I was thinking of ideas for this video when I was building this, and this kind of just happened. I guess you could call this like a fire pit or something, but we have the campfire block here and the honeycomb surrounding it. It's kind of like making like a fire pit, like a literal fire pit. Next we have more fire themed thing, again with the honeycomb block. And this is a nether type environment. And instead of using magma, which can damage you in the fear and survival mode, you can use honeycomb. It's a really good replacement, and you can actually add more layer and depth to your nether builds or nether kind of destructions. If I find the magma block here. Oops, old. Where is it? There it is. Magma block. Okay. This is the magma block, and comparing it to the honeycomb block, yep, yeah, I know the names. Don't yet. Yeah. It's this the handcomb block is much lighter and this is much darker. While this one actually gives off a little amount of light, this gives off none at all. But you can meld this into it as well to give it a kind of layered effect. 
add some more honeycomb blocks. And you can give it a real layered effect, which looks very nice, I think. Moving on is to a very odd one to do with beacons. So here you can see the beacon beam. Now the slime block does not actually stop the beacon beam. The beacon beam goes straight through it since the slime block, well, yeah. Honey block, um, the beacon beam goes straight through it. You can see here, since the, uh, the honey block is transparent. So you can add orange glass, orange stained glass, or just keep it normally to add a kind of strip lighting effect. Of course, this only works going upwards because beacon light only go, goes upwards. So next over here is another use for the beehive. Let's just get rid of that. As a mailbox. You can see the nice path leading to a beautiful mansion in the distance. Um, and over here is a mailbox where you can put in your mail. And where the postman rather can put in the mail and, and you can receive it. Next, moving on to this, like I said, slightly um, uglier side of the bee, the bee nest, but this could potentially work as a carpet. Yeah, I'm not so sure. This would definitely be some kind of 80s thing going with the wallpaper, or that might be too much pop though. But this is can be a carpet. And next to the final design, I want you to look at both of these very closely, is a balloon using the honey block, a yellow balloon. So there are two designs here, one with a slightly longer and one slightly shorter. Of course, these are interchangeable with any type of fence gate you want. Uh, not rather, fence gate, fence post. And now I'm going to put a poll on screen up there. Um, and I want you to vote the longer one or the shorter one. Plus, feel free to talk about any of the stuff I'm covering over here in the comments below. And ask me questions if you have any. Anyway, that was all the designs I have for today. That's 10 designs for you to try out in your own creative world or your survival world. Anyway, this has been, this has been Building with the Bees. I am Zarus and thank you for watching.